favorite time of the year, everyone. Pumpkin spice season. Hey everyone, so it's been quite a while since I last posted on my YouTube channel. Um, as we know, 2020 has not been the best year for anyone, unless you're Jeff Bezos. Yeah, I have been, you know, just kind of trying to get by, um, just like everyone else in this crazy, crazy year. But like many of you have probably faced during this time, I have been reflecting a lot and trying to find where my passions lie. And because I've been working from home since March, I'm actually about to go back into the office for a couple days a week starting next week and I'm freaking terrified. This time working from home has given me a lot of time to explore new hobbies and new interests and I found a new hobby and passion for PC building and I actually was able to build my very first PC and I wanted to make a video about it. So in this video I'm gonna talk all about why I started looking into building a PC, how I found my parts, what resources I used, and of course I'm gonna go over my build and its specs and where you can find the parts that I got. So I wouldn't really call myself a huge gamer, but I have always loved video games. Um, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV for about three years now, and I would say that's my favorite game. And I also love to play The Sims, um, heavily modded, so on my old computers my mods would always really screw up um, my computer and make it really confused and hard to work with. So I wanted to build a PC that would be able to handle anything that I throw at it. And as you guys know, I'm really into video content. Um, it's what I do for a living. So I also wanted a machine that would allow me to start using more professional programs like Adobe After Effects, Premiere, stuff like that. And since I'm working from home and I'm using my own computer majority of the day, I started to notice that my Mac was really not doing well and it's probably because all the junk I threw on it when I was playing The Sims and I had all these mods and I'm just working on, you know, just a standard iMac, which is probably not meant for that kind of stuff. So it was really hard for me to just even do my daily tasks at work and I thought to myself, I was like, you know what, I need something to focus on, I have a lot going on in my mind and I need to channel that energy into something new and something that I can be passionate about. So I started looking into PC building. I was researching a lot on Reddit. I'll list the subreddits right here that I found super helpful. Definitely check them out. There were a couple people who helped me figure out what parts would work for my build and for that I am super appreciative. I also researched a lot of videos on YouTube of people going over parts, what they do, and how they perform, and also just how to build a PC for beginners. Now when it was time for me to choose what parts I wanted, I used, of course, PC Part Picker. I love this site because not only will it show you every place that you could possibly buy the parts that you want, whether it be from Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon, whatever, it also shows you what parts are compatible with your build. For example, if you have a motherboard that isn't going to fit in your case, it will tell you that it's not compatible, which was super helpful for me because as a newbie, I had no idea what parts were going to fit in my build. So I started out with a budget ballpark around $1,300 and I quickly realized that this budget was going to go up if I wanted to create the build that I envisioned in my head. So I had a vision of what I wanted my build to look like. Before I even knew that I wanted to build a PC, I invested in a <coughs> pumpkin spice stuck in my throat. I invested in a Razer Quartz keyboard and mouse because I really liked the way it looked. Obviously, I love the color pink. I haven't always, but I'm really into the color pink lately. And it was really nice to have for work from home. And if you're not familiar, the Razer Quartz series has RGB, so it lights up. And you can 
customize it to light up whatever colors you want. So I really wanted my computer build to have RGB too, so everything can just glow together. And I really wanted like a pink, purple, and blue theme because those are my three favorite colors. Um, I really also like the color white. All of my furniture is white. I think it's really clean, so I knew that I wanted my case to be white. And that was another cool thing about PC Part Picker is that you're able to search for specific colored things. Like if you want a white case, you can search for that. If you want a pink case, you can search for that too. I was able to get a white case and white RAM sticks that also have RGB too. I love these RAM sticks and a lot of people use them and I highly recommend, they're awesome. And my CPU actually came with a fan in the package. It was kind of like a bundle deal that Amazon was doing at the time. The CPU cooler is fine. I know it's not top of the line, but it's working fine for now. I have experienced some weirdness every now and again. It'll make a strange buzzing noise. I think it has something to do with my air conditioner being on. My air conditioner is right next to it, and I notice sometimes that after I use the air conditioner, my CPU fan will make that noise. But it's still, everything's running just fine, and I've had this build for about two months now. I wanted to have a really good CPU. I wanted to have a good power supply because if I've heard at least, I'm no means by a PC expert. So if that's what you're looking for here, you need to go to a different video. I wanted to have a good power supply because this is obviously what is powering your computer and if there are any issues with that, you're gonna have trouble with your entire machine and we don't want that. And even though I really wanted a good GPU, I could not afford a crazy good one, so I think I got kind of like middle of the line. But this PC works great for what I wanted to do. I've had no issues with it so far, but I did experience a lot of trouble when I was building it. So let me get into that. As I said before, this was my first build and I have been using Mac for the past, I think, four years or five years. So it was really hard for me to learn everything. And I still don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. So um, I'm always looking for more advice because this stuff is still pretty confusing to me and I'm learning more and more every day. So it took about two weeks for me to get all of my parts. Um, I got all of the parts actually before my case came in. And once I had everything, I basically just looked at all of the manuals um, and I also looked at YouTube videos for the specific parts I bought to help me figure out how to put everything together. So the building process itself is not that difficult, especially if you do enough research beforehand and kind of know what you're doing going in. But there are a couple things that really tripped me up in the process. There are a lot of really tiny, tiny, tiny wires um, that you connect to your motherboard. On your motherboard, every connector has a label and it can be really, really hard to read because everything is so tiny. And I, at the time, this is so embarrassing, but at the time I had acrylic nails on and I could not physically get these tiny pin connectors into my motherboard. So I had to have my boyfriend help me and that was probably the most frustrating part. I don't want the dude bros to come at me and tell me that I'm a dumb girl that doesn't know anything about PCs. Like, I know this, I'm aware of this. One thing that really took me off guard when I was building my computer is how forceful you have to be with installing certain things like the RAM. I ended up not installing my RAM correctly during my first try because I was terrified of pressing too hard and breaking it, but you actually have to apply a lot of force to get it in all the way, so keep that in mind. So after I built everything and I turned on the computer for the first time, it was like the most magical moment of my life. I felt like I had just given birth to a child, um, but everything didn't work right off the bat. I couldn't get a signal to my monitor. 
um, and it took me forever to figure out why. So I ended up reinstalling a couple of things and I still couldn't figure out what the problem was. So I ended up taking it to my mom's house. Um, my mom works in IT and she used to be familiar with PC building, but that was many, many years ago. And when I brought it, my build to her, she was like, what the fuck is all this stuff? She was able to figure out that I had used the wrong SATA cable that was connecting my hard drive to my motherboard. So basically my computer wasn't booting all the way because it didn't have any sort of memory to read, I think. <laughs> Um, but that wasn't the only issue. So after we finally got a signal, for some reason, even though my CPU fan was spinning, it wasn't being registered on the computer itself. So when I logged into BIOS, um, it said that the CPU fan had an error, even though it was spinning. So we couldn't figure out what the heck I did wrong. So I ended up taking it to a guy in my hometown and he was able to sort it out for me. Again, my dumbass just used a wrong cable. And then after that, everything was good and ready to go. And honestly, it has been the best purchase I've ever made. Um, I'm terrified for when something eventually goes wrong and I have to troubleshoot it because like I said I am not good with computers I was very impressed that I was even able to build this and have it even kind of work when I first started it so I am really nervous for when I have to get into troubleshooting things but um, part of my job is working with tech so I figured this would be a good way for me to learn more about tech because what better way to learn than by your own mistakes am I right? So yeah, another reason why I wanted to build this PC is because I really miss making content and right now I'm playing a lot of games obviously because I have this really nice computer so I have started a Twitch channel and I really would appreciate it if you guys would come over there and come watch my streams and hang out with me. I haven't streamed in a while just because life got kind of crazy for a minute there um, but I try to stream on the weekends and I stream games like Final Fantasy XIV is my favorite, um, I plan on streaming The Sims 3 at some point, I really want to start playing Terraria and Final Fantasy XV, and yeah, I'm hoping to get a capture card for my Switch at some point so we can play Switch games too. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will leave my specs list in the description of this video if you're interested and my link to all my social medias and my Twitch. So please check it out and I hope to talk to you guys soon. I really wanna, I know I say this all the time, but I wanna start posting more on YouTube again. So thanks guys, I'll see you later.